Hello, this is Rob here with a quick tutorial on recovering replays that you did not get a chance to save. There are a couple of reasons you might not have been able to save a replay. It's possible you got kicked, maybe uh, you don't want to stick around, or maybe you just forgot to save it altogether. I tend to do that myself. The first thing you're going to want to do is, if it's not already, put Crossfire in the windowed menu mode. It's an option right in the settings, just tick it and hit OK. So, here I am in a game, and say for example purposes, I did something amazing, and I want to save this replay. And, wouldn't you know it, I get kicked. Well, after that disappointment, you're going to want to open up your My Documents folder. This should be under your Start menu, or at least if not there, on your desktop. If it's not in either one of those places, you probably know where it is. The reason we're going into My Documents is this is where Crossfire saves its replays. So, in your My Documents folder, you should have a Crossfire folder. And then in that folder, you should have a Replay folder. This is where all of your replays are. As you can see, I have two files here. Clutch3-12.cfr and ReplayTemp.rtp. Files with the .cfr extension are looked at by Crossfire when you view your replays in your storage. What you're going to do is look for this ReplayTemp.rtp and rename it. The key to renaming it, however, is to make sure you change the .rtp to .cfr. When you do this, Crossfire will then look at that .cfr as a real Crossfire replay, and it will be viewable when you go to your storage. If you can't see .cfr or .rtp at the end of any of the files in your replay folder, that means you do not have file extensions shown under Windows. These file extensions are often hidden by default. In the info to the right of the page, there are links on how to show the extensions on different versions of Windows. I'm going to rename this replay here to savedreplay.cfr. After you have saved it, a restart of Crossfire is not even required. Just go into your storage and it should be on the list. If it is not there, you may want to back out of your storage and go back in. And there we have it. There's the replay from the game I was just kicked from. One last note is that it takes a few minutes for this replay temp file to show up. If you are testing this, wait at least a few minutes before you exit a game. Otherwise, the replay temp file may not be there. Thanks for watching, and I hope this proves useful to some of you.